This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. I'm James Beastie, welcome to The Good Ride. This is the Soul Shift 157. I rode this with my Burton Kendos and my Union Atlas. I rode this about four days in a wide variety of conditions, mainly spring snow, meaning hard to kind of fun but firm, to soft, to slushy, and a little too slow. Really wished I got it in powder, but Premature springulation came upon us quick and it just never left. To give you a short summary, the Soul Shift is a hard carving, what I think will be an amazing floating board that is softer and more mellow than a lot of his boards in the line. And from what the shaper, Corin, said, this is an evolved version of the Soul Pitchwing, which he really likes and it's softer, it's more playful, it's more easily accessible for average riders like myself who aren't super technical, crazy, directional carvers. This can work with a wider variety of riders that are looking for something directional, tapered, really surfy. And when I say surfy, I mean set back towards the tail. You're riding this like a surfboard. And I compared it against the Karua Dart, and in what really surprised me is in some places this really shined over the Karua Dart. It's softer, it's more playful, it had more spring out of the turn. And in other places the Karua Dart shined over the shift. But overall I was incredibly impressed and it's my favorite board of the line. By the way, that Scrambler's just there to look pretty. So let's get into sizing. The 157 felt great for my size 9 boots. It felt great for my weight, uh, about 190, 195, depending on the day I rode it. And I think it could work all the way up to about 11. It's meant to be ridden with a little smaller feet. I wouldn't go like 11, 12 with this. You could, but you really want that extra width to carve harder. When it comes to the shape, it's, it's tapered and directional. It has a little less taper than the dart next to me and more taper than the pitch wing. And it, it just feels like you're on a surfboard. You're sitting on the tail and then add that big camber profile to it. It's a pretty healthy boa camber, going from almost all the way in the tail to just a little bit past the top of the name sole at the board. And then it just goes into a, just a very mellow early rise. And it's a healthy boa camber, more so than my dart and most darts I've seen of others. And it really has this pop and spring to it that feels really good, but it's pretty locked in. And it still, even though it's more mellow than most of Corin's boards, appeals more to an advanced expert rider who just maybe isn't so much of a technical carver. Now let's talk flex here. So check this out. The nose is pretty like, you know, medium, bordering on medium stiff. The waist is pretty medium stiff. Then let's talk tail here. The tail is medium stiff here in, in studio, or if you saw it in a shop, but on snow, that tail gives a lot more. Let's compare it here to the dart. Oh yeah, and I've ridden this a lot. This one's brand new. The dart is just significantly stiffer throughout. And here's a little take on the scrambler. Oh, much stiffer between the feet here, but a lot softer in the nose, the very tip. So what this flex does is on snow, it feels so good. It is so easy to access and to get pop out of it compared to a lot of Corin's boards. They felt more technical, like they wanted a stronger rider than myself underneath them. And this one just felt like it was my friend. You could butter off the tail pretty easy and wheelie up do a tripod if you want to. So it's, it's a much more friendly board on snow when it comes to buttering. This has really good pop. It has that nice balance between feeling rubbery and damp, 
but also feeling really lively. It feels almost like a lot of SWS boards like I've tried from Yes, Battalion, and others like Jones and such like that. It really has this nice spring to it and I just love the energy from turn to turn or when I wanna ollie. Now, when it comes to speed, I felt like the dart was the better call here. It just feels a little more damp, a little more aggressive, a little more stiff. This feels a little more softer, a little more chattery when you pick up speed. But when I set that edge and, and went into kind of higher speed carves for me, I felt like it was doing a really good job and I just liked the way this could carry speed. The base was fast, it was about comparable to the Karua Dart. Would like to see a little more base glide to this, but overall it was pretty good. When it comes to uneven terrain, as far as absorbing chatter at slow speeds for all day resort riding, this is great. That rubbery feel just absorbs things and doesn't pass it through. It felt much easier in messy snow than the dart. When it comes to edge hold, I was really surprised. I've heard shapers say this before, that a softer board can sometimes have more grip than the same board that's stiff. And this was one of those instances where I felt what those shapers were saying, this really holds an excellent edge in hard snow. I was riding other boards that are in front of the camera here, like the Arbor Single, which has a disruption in the side cut near the tail, and I just didn't really feel like it was gripping as hard as this guy in the same hard patches of snow on the same day, just run apart, you know, five, 10 minutes behind each other. And I was really impressed. It held a little bit better edge than the Dart, and it was kind of on par with the Scrambler. The Scrambler had really good edge hold. These guys ride in hard snow a lot more than we do. So I think they're tuning their boards to really handle it. Now, when it comes to turn initiation, I felt like the shift was slower than the Scrambler and a little slower than the pitch wing, but I haven't ridden the pitch wing for a few years. But I remember that thing being really quick and agile. I rode a smaller size than this, but I think Overall, I think it's just a little slower, but that's not necessarily bad. The way the swallowtail works in powder and the way I've tried the dart and other swallowtails like this in powder, I think this is gonna be fine for turning in trees, so I wouldn't worry about that. It's gonna do just great there. It's gonna change its personality in powder. But on groomers, if you like really tight, quick turns, this might not be perfect for you, but I think it does everything pretty well across the board, but I really liked it more on that across the groomer carve to circle carve side of the turning experience world. That was the most fun, but pretty much any carve you wanna do with this really shines and it just drives and springs out of the turn and it's, it's more of, you know, it's still an advanced expert ride, but an intermediate surf style rider could really work on honing their carves and really have a much more fun with this than you would with a lot of other boards. Same with the dart. They both do a really good job for allowing you to carve, even though you might not be a super technical carver. But if you got your shit together, Carving wise, this thing's gonna be a blast. It just drives so hard. I love it. It was my favorite board of Corin's line to carve in. And of all of Corin's boards, this was the least technical to carve. So if you're not this super accomplished carver like I am, this is gonna light up for you over the Scrambler and the Pitch Wing and a lot of other rides that he has. This is the one that appeals more to that average rider and not that super technical, just perfect carver like Corin is. And on some days we had more fun on the shift than we did the dart. I felt like it just had a little more spring and it was just a little more dynamic and a little bit easier to carve, but that dart is no slouch. And that was just that day in those conditions. In other conditions, the dart will shine, but it just shows how good the shift is that it can hang with the dart and even shine in some areas where the dart doesn't. When it comes to powder, I didn't get on this, but I've gotten on a lot of boards like this. And with this setback on board, 
massive setback on board. It has a massive setback on side cut, way more so than the Dart. And it has a little less taper than the Dart, but it has a similar nose and it has a little bit of early rise and then it has more swallow tails. So I think it's gonna be right there with the Dart. You could use this as a dedicated powder board and you'd be pretty happy. You'd have a complete life out there. And I would not worry about turning in the trees with this. This is gonna be quick, like I talked about in turn initiation. Now, overall, I think this is a great board. And if you ask me what you should get, and if you ride like I do, like Peter does, like most of our crew does, you're gonna like the Soul Shift the best out of their line. And this is a board that I'm gonna be recommending to a lot of different riders who email me if I can answer in a timely manner, I'm sorry, I've just been so busy. But this will be one of those boards that I'm just like, if you want something set back and surfy, swallowtail, you come from a surfing background and you wanna really get into technical carving and kind of that surf style thing on snow, then this will be on the recommendation list. All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average writer's perspective. There's no brand oversight, and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the Me Harmony profile in the contact us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. If you wanna support us and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So thanks for watching.